Our today's topic is traditional Japanese wedding. If you're enjoying our videos, subscribe to our channel Best for Brides for further updates. There are essentially two styles of wedding ceremonies that can be held in Japan the Western style and the traditional Japanese style. In Japan, getting legally married and participating in a wedding ceremony are two entirely different things. You need to register as a married couple with the city or municipal office in order to be considered legally married. However, you are free to have a wedding ceremony either before or after you register as a married couple. Even though the majority of Japanese couples get married in a Western style ceremony these days, Japan still has its own traditional approach to the celebration of marriage. This video provides an introduction to the wedding ceremonies that are performed in Japan, including an explanation of the traditional wedding attire, which consists of stunning kimonos. The Western style and the Japanese traditional style, which is known as Shinzen Shiki, are the two primary formats for wedding ceremonies that can be held in Japan. The Western style is typically performed in a Christian church or a wedding hall, whereas the traditional style of the Japanese wedding is typically performed in a Shinto shrine or a Buddhist temple. During a wedding performed in the Western style, the ceremony is led by a minister or priest. You do not need to be a follower of the Christian religion in order to have your wedding ceremony performed in a Christian place of worship in Japan. It is currently trendy to hold wedding ceremonies in Christian churches, and most brides want to wear white wedding dresses when they do so. For these reasons, a lot of people decide to get married inside of a church. The majority of the traditional Japanese wedding ceremony takes place at a Shinto shrine, and it is presided over by a Shinto priest. In the past, the wedding ceremony was attended only by immediate family members and traditional matchmakers known as Nakodo. However, in recent years there has been a shift away from this custom. There are a lot of couples who don't use matchmakers, and there are some shrines that let distant family members and friends of the bride and groom attend the ceremony, even though the number of guests is still limited to be small so that the ceremony can remain private. However, there are a lot of couples who don't use matchmakers. The Shinto ceremony for a wedding can take a variety of different forms, depending on the shrine. In most cases, the purification and the priest's offering of prayers to various deities come at the beginning of a Shinto wedding ceremony. The bride and groom toast their marriage with three glasses of sake. This technique is known as san, san, kudo. The bride and groom each take a sip of sake from a small, medium, and large cup during the ceremony. The groom then reads some words of commitment and the ceremony is concluded with some symbolic offerings to the gods. One of the new customs that has been imported from the West is the exchanging of wedding rings, which is practiced by many modern couples. Wedding Parties Following the conclusion of the wedding ceremony, the bride and groom will greet additional guests who have arrived for the reception party. The celebration is typically held in one of the hotel's restaurants or in one of the hotel's banquet rooms. There may be as few as 10 or as many as 100 guests, including the bride and groom's family members, friends, and co workers and superiors from their respective places of employment. The party will typically begin with the bride and groom being introduced to their guests and will continue for approximately two and a half to three hours. The bride and groom take their places at the head tables so that everyone will focus on them. A meal is served during the ceremony and various guests contribute to it in the form of speeches, songs, and other performances of various kinds. The custom of cutting the cake, which originates in Western culture, is one of the events that guests look forward to the most during the ceremony. At the very end of the party, the couple will give a speech in which they will thank each and every one of the guests who attended. What the bride, groom, and guests should wear to the wedding Kimonos specifically designed for weddings are customarily worn by the bride and groom at traditional Japanese weddings. Along with a white headdress, the bride dons a traditional Japanese wedding kimono known as a shiramuku. It is meant to represent the bride's innocence, as well as the fact that she will take on the hue of her husband's family. In Japan, it is not legally acceptable to keep the same last name on both sides of the family after marriage. Despite this, 
The majority of people change the last name of the bride to the name of the groom when they get married. This is where the phrase, become the color of her husband's family comes from. Because of this, many people have the mentality that after a wedding, the bride immediately becomes a member of the groom's family. The bride has the option of wearing either of the two different kinds of headdresses that are available for her on her wedding day. The first one is known as wataboshi. The wataboshi was initially worn outside to ward off dust and protect against the cold. Today, however, it is more commonly seen being worn in a manner analogous to that of a bridal veil in Western traditions. The only person who is able to see the bride's face while she is wearing the wataboshi is the groom, and they won't be able to see it until the ceremony is over. Tsunokakushi refers to a different style of headdress. The literal translation of the Japanese term is to hide horns. The concept of horns originates from the folk belief that women can transform into demons and grow horns when they are overcome with jealousy. Surprisingly, the Japanese word tsunokakushi literally means protection from a wife who is a demon. Tsunokakushi The groom traditionally dresses in a kimono, hakama, trousers, and hari, overcoat, all of which are dark grey or black in colour and feature the embroidered symbol of the groom's family. During the course of the wedding ceremony, as well as the reception that follows, it is customary for both the bride and, on occasion, the groom to wear multiple different outfits. The custom of the bride changing her attire multiple times before the wedding dates back to the 14th century and is meant to represent the bride's readiness to become a member of the family of the groom. A shiromuku, which is a long, white kimono, is traditionally worn by the bride during the ceremony of a Shinto wedding. Then, when she arrives at the reception, she might be wearing a vibrant kimono with embroidered patterns known as a uchikake, and then she might change into an evening gown in the style of the West or a party dress. When a couple gets married in the Western tradition, the bride wears a white wedding gown for the ceremony and then changes into a colorful evening gown or party dress at least once, and sometimes even twice, during the reception. Many mothers of the bride and groom choose to wear traditional black kimonos with their family crests embroidered on them for the wedding ceremony, regardless of whether it is a Western or traditional style. Wedding Gifts In Japan, one of the most distinctive customs associated with weddings is for the guests to present the bride and groom with monetary gifts as a token of their appreciation. There are envelopes with intricate patterns and embellishments that have been designed specifically for wedding money gifts. These envelopes are available at any convenience store or even a shop that sells items for 100 yen. Take precautions to avoid purchasing the incorrect item, such as one that is inappropriate for funerals. The wedding gifts begin at 10, 000 yen and can range anywhere from 30, 000 yen to 50, 000 yen or even 100. 000 yen depending on the guests or family's relationship to the couple. In most cases, the guests do not bring anything that was purchased in a store. At weddings, the take home gifts are typically intended for the guests of the wedding. The term for the presents that the bride and groom give to their wedding guests is hikademono. This is an old custom that used to signify putting on display the wealth that one's family possessed. Tableware, baked goods, and a selection made by the recipient from a catalogue are common components of the gifts. Invitations to the wedding The invitations to the wedding ceremony and reception are typically sent to the guests by regular mail in advance of the events. You can find the postcard to respond whether you are going to attend the event or not inside the envelope, and the guests are expected to respond to the invitation within a certain amount of time. Even for Japanese people, Correctly filling out the postcard in the manner specified can be challenging at times. Surprisingly many regulations pertain to this subject. You can do a search on the internet, and you will be able to find a detailed guide that will show you how to properly fill out the wedding invitation. This is it for today's video. Do let us know what do you think about it. Subscribe to Best for Brides for more videos like this.